Chapter 29, so Lina arrives home when it's almost dark and she meets Turki in front of the block of flats. She has cold shivers again and Turki, compassionate as always, makes her herbal tea with some honey. She tells Turki what has happened to Tibi, her colleague, and Turki, frantically, he begins to call police stations and hospitals in search of Tibi. And Lin feels really bad for not knowing Tibi's surname because they're so close but doesn't even know his surname. And at last they find someone who is undergoing surgery who could be Tibi. Turki will take Lin to the hospital the next day after school. And she awakens that night and cold sweats with an urge to talk to her mom. And she sends her mom a message, probably an SMS, mentioning that she is longing for her. She needs her mom and knows that she will answer. Absolutely traumatic. Father's in jail. Mom's in her rehabilitation clinic. One of her good friends been involved in a car accident. Almost considers prostitution. Things are not going too well. She's also supporting her fi- her family financially. So even though it's not her mom that has directly put the family, the US the family in the situation, but her mom has contributed to it by being a weaker figure and not taking charge when all is lost, Lin is still clinging to her. Because look, now I need my mom. Even though my mom is partly responsible for this, I still need her. So yeah, tough situation. And she asks herself whether she looks like a prostitute. And yeah, then she falls asleep again. Remember chapter 29, it follows the chapter with uh, Sprut, Spruki. Yeah, and remember Sprut is married. Anyone know the name of his wife? Anybody? The mouth of a mouse, mice monkey. 